Today, we've got some thrilling news that's bound to excite all the Samsung fans and tech enthusiasts out there. That's right. Qualcomm has officially unveiled the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset at the Snapdragon Summit 2024, and it's about to change the game for the Galaxy S25 series. Let's dive right into what this means for the next generation of Samsung smartphones. So, here we go. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite is being hailed as the fastest chipset ever made for Android devices. That's a lofty claim, and it seems to deliver on that promise with incredible advancements in mobile performance, gaming, photography, and artificial intelligence. And guess what? We've just confirmed that Samsung will be leveraging this powerful chipset for at least one variant of the Galaxy S25 series, which is expected to launch early next year. Now, if you remember, there were lots of rumors swirling around regarding the chipset choice for the Galaxy S25 series. Some speculated that Samsung would follow the same strategy it did with the Galaxy S24 series, which saw the standard Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus sporting the Exynos 2400 most regions while a flagship Galaxy S24 Ultra King equipped with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, the latest whispers in the tech community suggest that Samsung has been experiencing some yield challenges with its upcoming Exynos 2500 chip. This 3M chip was initially thought to debut with the Galaxy S25, but these production issues mean it might not be able to meet the extensive demand expected for this flagship series. In light of this, we may see Samsung opting for the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset across the entire Galaxy S25 lineup, or possibly looking to MediaTek for the standard and plus models. The buzz surrounding Qualcomm's partnerships at the summit has firmly placed Samsung in the Snapdragon 8 Elite lineup, signaling their commitment to delivering powerful devices in the coming months. Asterisk, asterisk, host, Excited asterisk asterisk. All right, let's talk about what makes this chipset so impressive. The Snapdragon 8 Elite boasts enhancements that are a game changer, particularly in connectivity. With features like Bluetooth 6.0 and an enhanced 5G modem, this chip ensures you'll have lightning fast data speeds and connectivity. One of the most exciting developments with the Snapdragon 8 Elite is that it includes built in ultra wideband or UWB support. This is groundbreaking because it's the first Qualcomm chip to offer UWB natively. Previously, manufacturers had to rely on separate chips, which added to the cost and complexity of smartphones, asterisk, asterisk, graphic comparison. UWB support in previous model versus Snapdragon 8, a late asterisk, asterisk. What this means for Samsung is that we could finally see UWB in the base Galaxy S25 model. Imagine how this will enhance tracking accuracy with devices like Galaxy Smart Tag. For context, previous base models, such as the Galaxy S23 and S24, didn't include UWB, likely to streamline cost and feature differentiation for the Plus and Ultra variants. Of course, there's always the question of whether Samsung will activate UWB on the base model or keep it reserved for the higher end variants. Remember, the Galaxy S21 Ultra marked the first time Samsung introduced UWB connectivity. It will be interesting to see how this strategy plays out. In addition to UWB, we expect the Galaxy S25 series to feature satellite connectivity for emergency messaging and calls in areas where cellular signal is weak or unavailable. This could be a lifesaver for outdoor adventurers or anyone who frequently finds themselves in remote locations. So as we gear up for the launch of the Galaxy S25 series, it's safe to say that the Snapdragon 8 Elite will play a vital role in elevating Samsung's flagship experience. From performance boost to game-changing connectivity features, the future looks exceptionally bright for Samsung fans. What are you most excited about regarding this announcement? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on all things tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. 
In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro Series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3-nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. 
Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.